Buenos días, clase. Hoy vamos a hablar acerca del pretérito versus el imperfecto. When you think about these two, sometimes it could get, let's say, a bit confusing. To make it easier, because I'm going to go over the rules. And so, even though you might have the rules, which will help you, I thought that it would be more helpful to think about these two tenses in terms of using them as tools to tell a story. So let's say that you're telling a story when you're describing the scene, you're painting what's happening in the scene. So for example, it was raining and it was dark. There was a storm brewing. I was feeling really scared. All of that section where you're describing and painting the scene or your background of the story You're going to use imperfect for that. Now, for action, for when things start happening, you're going to use the preterite. For example, let's say in the story that I just started, I say, all of a sudden, I heard a knock on the door. I heard that's going to be preterite. I opened the door and I saw a giant monster who came in the door and started tearing all of my furniture. I don't know. So you get the point. If it is action that's happening and you're moving your story along, you're telling what's happening or what happened rather, then use the preterite. Painting the background, then use the imperfect. So let's go and start looking at the specific rules. Series of events, things that happened one after the other, use preterite. Mi novio me llamó, my boyfriend called. Salimos a cenar y luego fuimos a ver una película. We went out to eat and then we watched a movie. Versus describing a state or how somebody was feeling over a period of time. Quería salir, I wanted to go out. Estaba feliz, I was feeling happy. Cuando era joven, mi abuela era muy guapa. When my grandma was young, she was very beautiful. Eran las cinco de la tarde, tenía diez años. Time and age use imperfect, if that's in the past. If something has a beginning and an end, and it's just something that happened one time, it's done, preter it. Versus things that used to happen over and over again in the past, use the imperfect. Things with a beginning and an end. Terminé de comer. Hice mi tarea y me fui a dormir. There's, those are actions that happen. They're done. Versus, de niña iba al campo todos los veranos. Every summer I used to go to the countryside. Cuando era joven, mi abuela nos visitaba cada sábado. When my grandma was young, she used to visit us every Saturday. Things that used to happen. Completed action versus ongoing past action. So a completed action would be, again, going back to the action verb, something that happened one time, it's done. Toqué la puerta. Elisa me invitó a entrar. Tomamos un café. Me contó lo que pasó. See how, how all of these are advancing your story? They're one time and they're done, beginning and an end, completed actions. Versus something that was happening back then. Estaba por tomar un café. Leía mi libro favorito. I was reading my favorite book where I was about to drink a cup of coffee. Now, when you have those things that are where going on, sometimes you're going to have in a story things that interrupt that ongoing action. So for things that were happening for that ongoing action, you're going to use the imperfect. And for those things that are interrupting it, then you're going to use the preterite like this. Yo estaba por dormir, I was about to sleep, cuando mi novio me llamó, when my boyfriend called. Mi hermana estaba comiendo, my sister was eating, that's, that's what was going on. Think about it in terms of a timeline. Y de repente se atragantó, all of a sudden she choked on something. Okay, so let's take a look at a simple story. Hugo, Paco y Luis eran tres cerditos hermanos. So Hugo, Paco y Luis, there were three Brothers, the, 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 the three little piggies. Hugo, Paco y Luis eran tres cerditos hermanos. Here I'm painting the scene of the story. I'm, I'm giving you the background, so therefore, to describe who they were, I'm using the imperfect. Querían hacer sus casitas. That's a feeling that they have for some time. 
they wanted to build their little houses. Imperfect. Now I'm going to start with the action. Un día hablaron. And so some of those words are going to give you a clue that you need to use a preterite. For example, un día, one day, that's going to give you a clue that it's one time that happened and it's going to be done, right? Un día hablaron, one, one time they spoke, they talked. Y decidieron, they decided, one time, done, buscar un lugar en el bosque para hacerlo. They decided to look for a place to build their houses. So therefore, hablaron y decidieron. That series of events, one time, completed action. Now, this is a series of actions, completed actions in the past. Hugo hizo una casa de paja y el lobo la sopló. Hugo made a, a house made of straw and the wolf blew on it, right? And destroyed it. Things that happened one time, completed actions, predated it. Paco armó una casa de palitos. Paco put together a, a stick house and same thing happened. Lobo la sopló. Luis construyó, he constructed, una casa de ladrillos, a brick house, y el lobo no la destruyó. So all of these series of events, actions that had a beginning and an end, predated it. Some of these stories, they, they're kind of scary. So I had to put like, different endings for my kid. So... Here's a happy ending, I guess. El lobo se puso a llorar. The wolf started crying. Y los cerditos le invitaron pastel de manzana. And the three little piggies invited him apple pie. So, action. Things that happen one time, they're done. También le dieron globos. They also gave him balloons so that he could uh, keep blowing. Porque al lobo le gustaba soplar. Because the wolf, that's what he liked to do. Gustaba, it describes a state of being. That's how, what he used to be like. Therefore, imperfect. Desde ese día fueron amigos los tres cerditos y el lobo feroz. From that day on, they were friends. They became friends. Uh, y todos los domingos, and every Sunday, Se reunían. They used to get together. They used to get together, therefore, imperfect. Para charlar y comer pastelitos. To chat and eat cupcakes. Okay, let's go and see another story. El jueves pasé casi toda la noche estudiando para mi examen de historia. On Thursday, I spent almost all night studying for my history exam. Pasé. Done. That's one time that I did that. Predator it. En la prepa, in high school, siempre estudiaba un día antes. In high school, I used to study the night before. So therefore, used to study, imperfect. El viernes en la mañana me sentía muy cansada. How you were feeling, therefore, imperfect. Salí de mi casa a las ocho y media. I left my house. One time, done. Beginning and ending. So therefore, salí, predated. Pero el tráfico estaba tan pesado. Traffic was really heavy. I'm describing a state in the past. So therefore, estaba. Llegué a la universidad a las nueve. I arrived one time, done. Encontré estacionamiento y corrí a mi clase. I found parking and I ran to my class. Series of events. Still, all these actions are advancing my story. Mis compañeros estaban tomando su examen. I'm describing what was happening, a state. My classmates were taking their exam. Eran las 9.25. Estaban todos en silencio. I'm describing their state. Estaban, therefore, imperfect. Cuando abrí la puerta. When I opened the door. One time, done. Abrí, predator. Se me cayeron todos mis papeles y todos me miraron. All my papers dropped and everybody looked at me. One time, beginning and an end. Creo que estaban un poco molestos por mi interrupción. I think they were feeling a little bothered by my interruption. State. You're describing a state in the past, so therefore, imperfect. Then we, here we have a series of actions. Pero al final todo salió bien. Everything came out okay. Me senté. I sat down. I took my exam. Tomé mi examen. Y contesté todas las preguntas. And I answered every question. I got an A. Saqué una A. Series of actions, that's why they are in the preterite. Okay. 
Now, the key with the preterite and the imperfect is to practice. That's it uh, for now. I will see you next time. Adios.